One of the most admired artists of all time is George Strait, who is known as the king of country music and is thought to be one of the best bands of the last few decades. He is in a class by himself in the music business thanks to his singing, his unique songs, and the fact that he is truly himself. He told everyone in the world he was retiring in 2012, after more than 30 years of making great songs. But the Strait family will experience something new in the unknown future. We all thought it would be like this, and it is. But let's look at the country music star's life first to see what that is. What makes George Strait different from other country singers? In what ways did his music change the way country music has changed over the years? Come with us as we look into the country music star's life and what his son finally told everyone. Poteet, Texas is the home of George Strait. He was born on May 18, 1952, to John Byron Strait, S.R., and Doris Jean Kauser. He grew up in the town of Pearsall, which is in Fryett County and is southwest of San Antonio. His dad ran a 2,000-acre ranch outside of Big Wells, Texas, and taught math to junior high school students. Every weekend and all summer, the family helped out at the ranch. His father and mother split up when George was in the fourth grade, and his mother moved with his sister, Pensy. Their father also raised George and his brother, John Buddy Jr. Strait worked on the ranch with his older brother and father for most of his life. Strait got his start in music when he was in high school. He played in the Stoics, a rock and roll house band at Pearsall High School. He used the Beatles and other famous British rock bands from that time to help him create his own style. He quickly changed his taste in music and became interested in country music. Hank Thompson, Lefty Frizzle, Merle Haggard, George Jones, Bob Wills, Hank Williams, and Frank Sinatra were some of the artists he looked up to for their style. Strait wasn't really into country music when he was younger. He used to listen to the news and the farmer's report instead. Seeing shows was how he mostly learned about country music, which Strait said was common in every town in Texas. Thus, he was able to gather a wide range of different ideas that would later form the basis of his own unique style. While George Strait was in college, his music business got more attention. It took place in San Marcos at Southwest Texas State University. Strait found his place in the country band Stony Ridge. The band placed around the university asking people to answer a flyer about openings for a new singer. He started to get better at playing the guitar and singing here. In South and Central Texas, as well as as far east as Huntsville and Houston, the band played at different parties and bars. Strait changed the group's name to the Ace in the Hole Band and quickly became the boss of the band. They became well known in their home state and played for national acts like the Texas Playboys. There was an independent company in Houston that let them record a few straight songs, like Don't Change the Way I Feel About You and I Can't Go On Dying Like This. Some people liked the songs, but not many people did, and Strait kept working at his family's cattle ranch during the day to make extra money. Still, Strait had no ties to the music recording business and kept playing with his band. Irv Woolsey later became his friend. Irv ran one of the bars where Ace and the band used to play. Irv used to work for the big record company MCA Records. Woolsey was able to get some people he knew in Nashville to come to Texas to see Strait and his band play. They were pleased, but they couldn't make a deal in the end. They had the most trouble because they thought they couldn't sell the western swing sound that the band played. Although Strait kept going to Nashville to try to get a record deal, every record label turned him down. He quit music because he was tired and unhappy with it. He told the band that he was leaving, but after talking to his wife, who told him to give music another chance for one more year, he changed his mind. Soon after, in February 1981, Strait got a recording deal with the big label MCA. At first, they only agreed to do one song. If the single did well, the record company might think about putting out an album. The best player in the band stayed with Strait and played as George Strait's backup band and on tour with his new solo job. Strait's first song, Unwound, came out in the spring of 1981 on MCA Records, which made it to number six on the Billboard Hot Country Songs list that year. Later, it was on his first record, Straight Country, Down and Out, and If You Think You Need a Stranger, There's One Coming Home, two more songs from the album, were also big successes. Because Straight Country was such a big hit, reviewers saw it as a new traditionalist breakthrough. It was a nice change from the pop-heavy music that was popular at the time. In 1982, Straight released a new record called Straight from the Heart, as a Western song, Amarillo by Morning was also a top five hit. Foolhearted Memory was the first single of his career to reach number one. In 1983, Strait made his rodeo debut at the Houston Livestock Show. He filled in for the main act when they got sick with the flu and had to cancel. Since the rodeo show, it has been his signature move for the rest of his career. He's been to the rodeo more than 20 times and played for more than a million people. Strait had 17 number one songs in the 1980s. From his next two records, five of them were number one from 1983 to 1984. Right or Wrong was his first number one record, and it was also the album that won him the CMA award. Do you ever think about Fort Worth? 
The next year, he won the CMA Award for Best Male Vocalist and put out his first record of songs from his first three albums. Strait's third number one album in a row, Something Special, came out in 1985. The Chair Song was the album's top hit. He won the CMA Vocalist of the Year Award in 1986, and his fourth record went straight to number one. This was the most important time in Strait's career. He became a superstar and one of the most important people in the field because of it. George Strait was able to keep a steady and calm mood even though his personal life went through many ups and downs. Since he married Norma many years ago, they have had a love story that is known as one of the longest in the history of country music. George was in love with his wife Norma when they were in high school, but they couldn't wait to tell their families about their relationship. After they finished in 1971, they ran away together and got married in Mexico on December 4, 1971. Strait joined the U.S. in the same year. In the Army as an infantryman, the 25th Infantry Division put him in charge of Schofield Barracks in Hawaii. Here he tried out for and joined Rambling Country, an Army-sponsored country music band where he played bass both on and off stage under the name Santee. Strait was in the Army from 1971 to 1975, rising to the rank of corporal during that time. During his time in the Army, he didn't lose his love for music, and it was during this time that he was at his best as a performer, which would set him up for a great career in country music. Strait and Norma both have two kids. Jennifer, the first child, was born on October 6, 1972. In 1981, they had a boy named George Harvey Strait Jr., who was often just called Bubba. Their happiness didn't last long, though, because their 13-year-old daughter Jennifer died in a car accident in 1986. According to United Press International, she wasn't wearing her seatbelt and was in a fast car that crashed while trying to turn. His music and job went on after Jennifer's death. But he didn't talk to reporters for many years. This loss broke George's heart and left him and his family with deep scars. The pain is still very fresh. George has not only had to deal with this loss, but he has also had to deal with other issues that come up with his music business. Being famous has put a lot of stress on him. These include being a public person who is always being watched by the media and having the media get in the way of your life. In spite of everything, George has never lost his sense of humor or his desire to put his family in singing first. Not surprisingly, George's personal life is still the main source of inspiration for his music. His songs about love, loss, and strength are based on things he has seen and felt in his own life. The main reasons why so many people like his work is that he is good at making people feel nostalgic and getting to know his fans on a personal level. Strait likes a lot of different things besides music. He likes to ski, play golf, and guide rope. Strait made the Vaqueros del Mar or Cowboys of the Sea with his longtime business partner and friend Tom Cusick. A golf tournament and chauffeur-invited guests are held every year at Strait and Cusick's Texas Hill Country Resort, Tapatio Springs Resort in Bourne, Texas. The Invitational Championship is an event to raise money for David Faherty's Troops First Foundation, which helps troops who have been hurt and their families. More than $5 million was raised by the events in their first year, 2012. As of January 2018, George Strait had been given the 2018 Texan of the Year Award by the Texas Legislative Conference. This is an organization of business and government leaders from across the state. Strait's first movie role was in Pure Country, which came out in 1992. He also released a lot of songs for the movie's album. Dusty Chandler, the main character in the movie, was a famous country singer played by George Strait, who also loved music that wasn't quite country. It gave him the chance to try a different rock and roll sound than his southern way. George Strait has won more awards than anyone else in country music history, making him a true star. He has more number one albums and songs, gold albums, platinum albums, and multi-platinum albums than anyone else in the history of country music. He is also 11th on the list of artists with the most number one albums in any other genre. Strait has more gold and silver records than any other artist in music history, except for Elvis Presley and the Beatles. He has also sold more than 70 million records in the United States, making him the 12th best-selling act in American history. Now he has more number one songs than anyone else in all kinds of music and has had 60 number one hits since 2013. She is the only artist in the history of any genre to have a top 10 hit every year for 30 years. Strait also has 92 top 10 hits, which is only five songs short of Eddie Arnold's record of 92. Strait has won 22 country music awards. He won the Entertainer of the Year award three times in 1989, 1990, and 2013. The artist was given the record for most country music awards by the Country Music Awards Association in 2009. Because of this, he was invited to the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2006. Before getting his new plaque, he rocked the stage with his number one hit at the time. Give it away, Eddie Arnold, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1966, is the biggest artist in history.
He does, however, work as a record producer, and his most recent albums and hit songs are still at the top of the charts. The Academy of Country Music Awards named Straight the Star of the Decade for the 2000s in October 2008. Charts Magazine Billboard named Straight the Best Country Music Star of the Last 25 Years on June 8, 2010. Besides that, he is the only singer in the business to have won the Entertainer of the Year Award for three decades in a row, putting him ahead of everyone else. The American country music singer, music director, and actor George Strait has a net worth of about $300 million right now. People call George Strait King of Country is a well-known music artist who has been around for a long time. In contrast to most of his peers, George Strait stuck to the traditional parts of country music and pushed many others to stay away from the pop influence sounds that were becoming more popular in the 1980s. Strait has sold more records than any other act. He sold more than 120 million songs around the world. There were 33 platinum albums and 13 multi-platinum records by him, including the eight times platinum pure country. During his journey, George Strait was the subject of many questions. When George Strait quits, who will take his place? Would there be no changes at all in country music? The fans asked all of these and many more questions, and it's likely that everyone already knew what would happen after Strait retired. People all over the world thought that George Strait Jr. would carry on the tradition of clean country music. It's not just a guess that this idea was true. It was the natural next step after seeing what Strait had done throughout his career. The father and son had worked together on their best songs. Strait Jr. has also written songs with his dad, and has appeared on stage together while dressed as cowboys in shirts, jeans, and hats with wide brims. Because of all of that, there were rumors that Strait Jr. would take over his father's work. At age 43, George Strait Jr. has proven what we all thought from the start. Born in San Marcos, Texas on May 14, 1981, George Strait Jr. is better known by his stage name Bubba. He started competing in rodeos while he was a student at Texas A.M. University. In the end, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette said he became a roper for the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. After that, Bubba took part in a lot of different events, such as the 22nd George Strait Team Roping Classic in 2004. He rode for a while until he almost cut off his middle finger while trying to do a bad loop. George Strait loves rodeos with all his heart. Strait put on the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association team roping classic for 35 years. The last event of the year was in 2017, and Strait stopped producing it. He told the Team Roping Journal 10 years ago that team roping was his love and that winning with his son was his proudest moment. Bubba may not be in the news as much, but he is still active in music. You can hear Bubba's voice at the beginning of the song Heartland from the movie Pure Country, which came out in 1992. As an adult, he has co-written songs with his dad for records like Living for the Night, Out of Sight, and Out of Mind. He also helped write songs for George's next four studio records. Love is Everything 2013, Here for a Good Time 2011, Cold Beer Conversation 2015, and Honky Tonk Time Machine 2016. In Arlington, Texas, in 2014, Bubba and his dad shared the stage together. That was the last stop on their two-year Cowboy Rides Away tour. The two of them sang his hit, Arkansas Dave, which Bubba wrote himself. His farewell show at a T Stadium was the most popular musical in North American history. He was known as the king of country music. There were 104,793 people there, which broke the Rolling Stones' old record. Strait was on a rotating stage in the middle of the huge stadium, ringed by 10,000 temporary seats on the floor. His best band was with him. Many fans of all ages came from far and wide to Arlington Stadium to sing along with all of his best hits and remember the good old days. After the show, George Strait stopped going on tour, which was recorded for the Cowboy Rides Away tour concert special on CMT. He and his dad also walked the red carpet at a few events, such as the Country Music Hall of Fame Medallion Ceremony in 2007, the 44th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards Artist of the Decade event in 2009, and the 50th Annual Escap Country Music Awards in Nashville in 2012. Bubba doesn't have a social media account, but Tamara Strait, his wife and another real estate agent, often post shots of the two of them on Instagram with their names on them. After meeting at a San Antonio Spurs game in 2005, where Tamara was a silver dancer, they have been together ever since. Bubba and Tamara got engaged in 2010 and got married a few days later. They have a son named George Harvey Strait I, 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 and a daughter named Jillian Louise Strait, 2016 birth. His father is more well-known than Bubba. In spite of this, he has reached important points and successes in his musical career. Strait Jr. is keeping the spirit of country music alive and exciting for years to come, just like his famous father did. But Bubba's artistic journey is also his chance to go his own way and make his own mark in the business while drawing from his father's work like his dad. Straight Jr. can pick and choose what songs to listen to and how to express himself. 
In this way, he'll add to the long history of the singing family and make sure that it continues to grow and change with each new generation.